All right, what's going on, Helldivers? Willis here. We're back with, once again, another Helldivers 2 video. In this video, guys, I wanted to show you some just quick news as well as a infinite grenade glitch, which will probably be patched soon. So keep an eye on this video and we'll show you guys how to do it. As well, I'm announcing the winner of the previous giveaway for the Democratic Detonation uh, giveaway. So if you didn't know, there's a new war button in the game called Democratic Detonation. Um, the winner is on screen right now. All you have to do is just contact me um, over on Discord. I'll leave it in the description. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to give away another one in this video. If we can get this video to 3000 likes by tomorrow, I know we can do it. Just let you leave a like, leave a comment and in your comment, make sure you leave a black heart to support the video and I'll only be picking those ones. So yeah, let's jump into uh, today's video. So real quick, the game is kind of just a buggy mess right now, guys. I will be completely honest. There is so many bugs in the game and new bugs being discovered by each day. Um, obviously, the grenade glitch I'm going to show you later in this video as well. Um, but yeah, some of you reported that the ship module upgrades, the superior packing uh, methodology isn't working properly after we are still investigating and looking into a permanent fix. Yeah, so basically, the ship upgrades that we got with the new war bond they're just not working there you buy them and they just don't work there's stuff like um the one where you get the increased flame damage that just doesn't work unless you're the host and just the other stuff like obviously the increased damage and just other stuff for the ship it just doesn't work um and obviously only some stuff being working if you're the host apparently restarting the game seems to fix the issue but yeah there is still the issue with the uh the flame damage just not working so regarding the ce27 groundbreaker i'm aware of a slight mix-up that resulted in it going live with the servo assisted passive instead of the engineering kit passive as advertised this should be changed back in an upcoming hotfix please keep in mind if this armor is one of the reasons you're thinking about purchasing the new woman so one of the armors in the game basically showed the wrong perk but i think they're obviously going to fix it soon now this would be actually kind of nuts if arrowhead added this to the game just more armor variety and just different perks. What would be even better if the perks could just randomly roll and then you have a chance to get these art like perks on the armor. But as you can see, someone has made up perks and then obviously have perks we already have in the game and sort of just mix them in. So obviously the stuff like electrical uh, conduit, which you get 95% resistance to arc damage. And then you got high power weapon cooldown, 20% faster. Uh, obviously the supply bags the med kits just cool perks that they've just basically made up that would just make sense for the armor so obviously the extra padding the heavy weight less likely to be staggered or thrown i mean look at the size of this armor like why would it not have that perk this armor here the cybernetic reloading is 25 percent faster honestly i would not take the armor off if that was an actual perk grenade pouch carry two extra grenades and yeah just small stuff like that that we just need added to the game probably one of the most unlucky hell divers i've seen once again is this fella right here um he manages to shoot down an automaton ship and yeah guess where it lands right on his face now i don't think he dies so that's a so basically what this whole video i wanted to be about but then the infinite grenade glitch came out and i kind of switched up but yeah this is a new leak of a new robot super earth conscript now this guy apparently was in helldivers one i think he was just like helping you and stuff but apparently we're going to be getting these robots that apparently can equip weapons so i'm assuming they're going to be helping us in the fight whether or not they come down with the leaked um sort of like dropship thing that helps you like the, the troop thingy that was leaked a while back where basically there was a dropship that came in and it could spawn a bunch of like these uh troops and they would basically help you i don't know if it's related to that but yeah this model has basically been posted in the past but iron sights has basically gone ahead and basically textured it. it he has the ability to hold weapons and he said based on what i've seen this robot may be able to fight alongside us in battle i do not know for sure whether or not we'll be able to fight but his model fully supports it but yeah very cool textures it sort of reminds me of chappy if anyone's seen the movie chappy another leak here from iron sights this is a new objective the communication relay which i'm assuming is for the automatons which i'm assuming we have to put on the planet and do some cool side mission which we'll probably get in an upcoming major order and then obviously we've got these automaton centrifuge storage shells and these are basically objects that are storing the centrifuge output which was from a previous leak as well and this is the icon here real quick as well i wanted to show you the weekly or the major order it has changed earlier today and basically what we have to do is the automaton advance must be halted establish and hold uh men kent line to allow an establishment of 
orbital defenses. Designated planets must be under super Earth control when the order expires. So we need to take Menken and Lazath. And this is the automaton controlled planet. So yeah, we're back to fighting robots. We actually get 55 uh, medals for this. So that's quite a lot. Now, I wanted to finish up the video, guys, and show you this new unlimited grenade glitch because it is kind of just taking the game by storm right now. Um, yeah, it's kind of nuts. So we're basically just going to go ahead to like a planet here real quick. And yeah, I'll show you guys how to do it. It's pretty easy. So there's only like one thing you need for this to work is the supply pack. So basically just this will obviously work in any mission. And I'm assuming it's going to be patched soon. If not, this will be patched Monday and we basically have the whole weekend for like unlimited grenades because I don't know if Arrowhead is pumping out updates on the weekend. I'm pretty sure they're not. But yeah, get yourself a supply pack. Supply pack is this thing right here. A little backpack. Honestly, you don't really need anything else. Doesn't matter. Just get a supply pack. You can obviously run your normal stratagems if you want. But yeah, all we need is a supply pack. All right, so the glitch is pretty easy. All you have to do is obviously drop in your supply pack. Um, I have no idea how this works with the supply pack, but it's just the glitch. Um, next, you want to find out what the button is to actually pull out your grenade. Now, I, my button to throw a grenade is G, but there's actually a button in the game which you can press to pull out the grenade. And you can find your key binding here if you go to mouse or just if you're on console, go to your combat Um keybinds and look for the one that just says grenade i basically just put mine on six i don't use this ever i always use quick grenade but you need to find the button that just pulls out the grenade so grab the supply pack press the button that pulls out the grenade but not throws it next open up your strategy menu and close it next you basically just want to throw all your grenades when you're in your last one open and close your strategy menu like this and that's it you have unlimited grenades as you can see we're going into the uh the negatives here <laughs> so yeah it's it's that simple once again this works for um incendiary grenades this will work for the stun grenades as well but yeah you've got uh unlimited grenades be uh be very careful I, like i said i don't know if this is going to get fixed by the <laughs> by the weekend so this might be a monday fix for arrowhead and it might not be like an easy change but yeah unlimited grenades so yeah if you see anyone doing this in the game they're, they're not hacking they're basically just just doing this new infinite grenade throwing thing but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like once again if you'd like to win a copy of Democratic Destination. Um, like the video, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed. And with that being said, I did see a hell bomb. We're going to end the video with a hell bomb explosion. Oh, God. Hell bomb. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.